Today I'm going to be doing like another mega tasting video. The brand that we are going to focus on is Nongshim. I'll be trying five different noodles from this Korean brand. Hi guys, it's Magali and if it's your first time on my channel then welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. When I actually do tasting videos like this one pretty often and I'm going to leave a link to the playlist in the upper right corner. And a few months ago, I made another one like this where I tried nine different variants of Samyang's Bulldog Hot Chicken Ramen Noodles. You guys seem to enjoy that video and after that, this seemed like a fitting follow-up video besides some of you even asked for it. Nongshim is another really famous noodle brand out of Korea just like Samyang. A majority of these five noodles that I have today are from their Shin Ramyun series which does have like one big thing in common with the Samyang Bulldog range. It's supposed to be really spicy. As someone with a low spice tolerance, I'm not sure why I keep putting myself through this. The five noodles that we are going to try are the original Shin Ramyun noodle soup, Shin Red super spicy noodle soup, Shin Ramyun kimchi variant, the Shin Ramyun stir fry variant and finally the Sun Veggie Ramyun which unlike the Shin Ramyun range is not supposed to be spicy at all. I think I'm gonna enjoy that so I've sort of kept it for last. Since it's our first day let's start with the original one. One thing that I noticed about these noodles that sets them apart from the Bulldog range of Samyang's is that it has the green dot so this is a food item that vegetarians can also enjoy. Also compared to the Bulldog range which is mostly the stir fry kind, most of Nong Shim's Ramyun series does have a soup or a broth. Along with the noodle cake which is round by the way, you also get vegetable bits and a soup base. So I'm gonna quickly go and make this exactly as per the package instructions. my bowl of Shin Ramyun here. Quite a large quantity so they do have a lot of these like dried veggies. There was some bok choy. I think I do see some carrot. Definitely some mushroom. It does smell really nice. When I was cooking the noodles they were giving out such a pungent aroma. My nostrils started flaring and I started coughing so I'm approaching this with a healthy amount of fear. It's time. Mm. The noodles are nice and chewy. The broth's quite spicy. It's quite a thin broth. This is especially a great meal to have during winter time or when it's super rainy. It just like warms you up inside. When you eat the bits of veggies, they taste really nice. The mushroom especially is delicious and chewy. I'm used to eating more meat-based foods really and I'm used to using meat for flavor. So part of me was wondering how this would taste since it's vegetarian. But there is really a strong umami flavor and I know a lot of that is probably derived from the mushroom. It's really nice and savory and I don't think that you will miss meat in it even if you eat meat often like me. One packet of this is just going to be like a super filling amount. I've been eating for a few minutes now and I'm already kind of getting full. But I have so much remaining. It's just a lot. This absolutely gets a thumbs up from me. But I'm gonna go eat the rest of this off camera, maybe like over the next hour or so. I think it took me around half an hour, but I did finish the bowl and it was good. It's time to try the second variant today, which is the Shin Ramyun Red Super Spicy. I'm still frightened but I'm just gonna dive uh, right in. Oof! I may have just bitten off a little more than I can chew with this one. If that's what the first morsel felt like, my confidence levels are really low right now. It does taste 
almost exactly like the original shin ramen with just a higher amount of spice mm. it is yummy but i'm not sure i'm built for a whole bowl of this this is like the most intense one that i've tried ever i do love the little veggies that they give like the flakes it's got these little dehydrated mushrooms that are so tasty when you bite into them how do people do this how do people eat this and a lot of the noodles in this pack were already crushed so i feel like i'm going to have to use the spoon a lot it's happening i've actually eaten i can inch up this My lips are burning now. This has never happened before. I'm gonna go eat the rest of this off camera now. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I cannot finish this bowl as it is. However, I do not waste food, so I'm going to add in some milk and maybe like a cheese slice or two. That should make it easier to finish this off. I'd be very terrified of any person who can eat this entire bowl as it is without adding anything else to it. I ended up adding all of the liquid back into a pot and adding one chopped tomato, a ball of fresh mozzarella and an egg. It was just finishing what I had in my fridge. Cheese, carbs and tomato are a winning combination. It was delicious. It went down very easily after that. Today we're going to be trying the third pack of noodles, the Nongshim Shin Ramyun Kimchi noodles. Nongshim Shin Ramyun is kind of like a tongue twister. We're getting used to these noodles now and I kind of have an idea of what to expect. When I was preparing these, one thing that I noticed was along with the spicy aroma this time, there's also a really strong tangy aroma. So that's probably kimchi cuz like kimchi is usually tangy and the aroma actually kind of reminded me of noodles that i've tried in the past the mama shrimp noodles this doesn't have any shrimp in it or anything i just thought that the smell was really similar i love those noodles every time i'm in thailand i eat too much of it so i'm excited to try these nice not too spicy after i tried the extra spicy variant all of the other ones are going to taste like normal spicy because that one was just who this is really quite yummy and these noodles are just so filling you get this giant bowl full of noodles and broth so if you're a student or something and you're on a budget I understand how these can be even more appealing because they will make a pretty satisfying meal. I'm not really finding this one spicy and I love it. That's not a complaint. More of the spice usually resides in the soup. But this one's quite well balanced and I think it's definitely the mildest one that I've tried so far. Even though it's part of the Shin Ramyun range, it is milder than the original Shin Ramyun also. Almost reached the part of the bowl where I have to ditch the chopsticks and switch to the spoon because my chopstick skills are like rudimentary at best. This was really good. It perfectly hit the spot. It's time to try the fourth pack. It's the Shin Ramyun. stir fry gourmet spicy noodles the preparation for this was a little bit different it's among all five of the nongshim noodles i'm trying in this video this is the only one that has a red dot meaning it's not vegetarian i actually had to scan through the entire ingredient list to find out 
what was like the meat or animal based product from it and turns out that the flakes in this have fish. It has these little small like things, I don't know what it's made of but it has the Shin Ramyun like logo on it which is really interesting. This could actually be the fish because I know Japanese fish cakes that they put in ramen are really adorable so this could be that but I have no idea. Let's taste it. Yeah, that's probably the fish I think. It's quite chewy and it does have a slight fishy taste, nothing too strong. This came with a seasoning oil and it does smell a little bit different than the other Shin Ramyun. It's really good but fairly spicy also really really delicious though but kind of fiery already I find all of these portions just so big like this is not a small size plate but it's heaped which is why I've been struggling to finish almost all of these The noodle texture on these is different than the other Shin Ramyun. It's definitely thinner and I guess that's because you only have to cook these for 2 minutes as opposed to the 5 or 6 minutes of the other one. It still does have a nice chewy springy texture though. take the rest of this off camera and eat it. They are really amazing though. If you're someone who doesn't prefer broth noodles or noodles with an excessive amount of sauce, then you might actually enjoy these more. The oil I think is a wonderful addition. It really does coat the noodles and it helps the like soup powder adhere to the noodles better. Whoever came up with like the Shin Ramyun noodles, who invented these, who formulated the flavors, deserve some kind of award. So I did take a little extra time, but as you can see, I most definitely finished them off. Today's the fifth and final tasting for the Nongshim Soon Veggie Ramyun Noodle Soup. This is the only one that's not part of the Shin Ramyun range, and this is supposed to be gourmet mild, so it's not very spicy. I, when I was preparing these noodles, uh, the soup base powder that I added in still smelled a little bit spicy, and I still cough when I put it in. I don't know if that's like a me thing only, but every time. I am preparing these noodles. I definitely cough. I'm just gonna get in there. Still a little bit hot. But this just looks and smells even like regular Shin Ramyun. Minus a little bit of the spice. The flavor profile, the aroma, very similar. The flakes that come in almost all of these packets have that little bit of like dehydrated veggies. They look so tiny and they look like nothing when you take them out of the pouch. But when you boil them, they actually dehydrate and it looks like you've added fresh veggies in. Like they have crunch and everything. I'm not sure how they achieve that. The spice level on this is super tolerable. There's just the slightest hint of it, but it's really not much. It's just been a couple minutes and I've actually worked my way through this bowl really quickly. It is just a very yummy and well-balanced one. It's really good, even the broth is yummy. That was delicious. It went down so easily. 
So I guess my inability to finish the other ones on camera has mostly been about the high spice. It makes me take breaks, like I need to take breaks. But this one, look. Now I'm gonna give it a day or two and come back with my personal ranking of the... Hey, hey, I'm back. Got a little haircut. It's time for me to rank the five noodles. Start with the one that I love the most. The Soon Veggie Ramyun. I thought it would be very mild and very bland. Green color deceived me. It's not super mild. It's actually very similar to the Shin Ramyun but is less spicy and quite easy to eat. The second place I'm gonna go with stir fry. I thought it was really interesting and different even though the other ones with the soup base or the broth are tasty. I gravitate towards those like really soupy noodles more in the winter time. For most of the year in Mumbai when it's really hot, I'm gonna prefer the stir fry style and just with the oil and everything, it's super. My third pick would be the Shin Ramyun kimchi. It was spicy but the kimchi added really nice tanginess to it and brought down the spice. It was pretty delicious. My personal top three, I'm definitely gonna repurchase them at some point in the future. Now the bottom two for me at fourth place is the regular Shin Ramyun. I get that this is what started the whole thing but for me it's just a little spicy and I prefer the other variant. And at the very bottom it's gonna be the red super spicy one. This is the spiciest noodles I've tried in my life. When it came to Samyang, like I've tasted a bunch of those but I never went near the 2x spicy or the 3x spicy. This was way too hot for me and there's actually no way I could have finished it all on its own. I would have had to waste it. When I added those other stuff into it, it became bearable like tomato, egg, cheese, all of that. But on its own, way too hot. It's an absolute no from me. It was really fun to do this video. I really enjoy eating instant noodles and trying different ones like this is super fun. Have you tried these? And if you have, do you agree or disagree with my ranking of them? I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any suggestions for brands or ranges I should feature in further videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.